So this is the turning at the Waterloo. And this gate has been locked before in the past illegally. Hopefully it's not this time. open because this is a nice little lane let's get into it not a big fan of uh, the farmers stood sort of watching you I've got a feeling the chap that was just watching me is probably not the happiest but also you have to remind yourself that these are public rights of way. You're not doing anything wrong by driving them as long as you're respectful, as long as you're not tearing them up, as long as you're acting within the glass code of conduct, closing gates, not making a mess, not leaving litter, not terrorising wild stock, etc. Perfectly allowed to drive them. Many of them have been here for a lot longer than the, than the farmers that get upset over you using them. So I think that actually the best course of action is to use them but just do so politely and then to prove that it's the minority that aren't responsible. It's very much one in a one in a thousand in my experience. Uh, over to the lane. This is a quite a nice little technical trundle. I do enjoy this lane. I've driven it once or twice. I think uh, this lane was in a copy of, I think Land Rover owner. This must be going back a while, like five or six years back. Before I was a member of Glass, I just had, um, you know, the occasional map that you'd get out of Land Rover owner or Land Rover International. I forget which one it was. Um, and I think that's the first time I came across it locked. I'm not surprised because they probably put that out in an article. <laughs> hey, come and check this amazing lane. And I bet in the next month or so, a thousand people have turned up to check this amazing lane. And uh, whilst it's fantastic that they spread the news of stuff like, you know, they, they, they're good for, you know, the industry and the scene as a whole, I can see how sometimes people are against them sharing like information quite like that. Because then what happens? Lots of people descend on it. Uh, just take you out of the sat nav holder for a second. Appreciate you there. times. Let's get our gates open. Now, 
both times I've got out my car to open gates, I've come across huge piles of a dog turd. So you have to ask yourself what does more damage potentially to a lane, some tire tracks, or several piles of uh, who knows what. Secure, double checked. Let's finish this climb. A little bit scratchy. I'd say this is probably borderline, just not not suitable for road tyres. Or shiny vehicles at this point because it's a little bit scratchy. And I think if there was any sort of weather, you'd probably struggle with this climb if you're on road tyres. Or your traction control will be going non stop. That's not good for a lane spinning tyres, I think it's nice just to trundle. solid rock under under there it's definitely what I'd call like a sustainable lane it's not just totally churned sign there on the left you won't have seen it just out of shot there's a police warning sign notifying vehicle users to be responsible there's a little bit of sign of off piece there on the left and that's probably what the signage is in reference to just encouraging people to be responsible Late, like this, that gate shouldn't be open. So I'll just pop that closed. Some people say leave gates as you find them um, and most often times I do but when you've seen a sign for saying something grazing if it's open I'll give it a close. I'd rather get told off for uh, having closed a gate than for having left one open. Big, big lump there. Do a sill if you weren't lifted, I think. Right, a bit muddy here, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, momentum, try and carry me through, and probably just put it into second and just try not to spin any wheels. Just let that momentum carry me through. There we go. Firm stuff, so 
just drop back down into first, slow back down. You get a little bit of control and cruising. Probably couldn't see much of that with the uh, the silhouette of that sun. It's quite a nice, lovely sunset. Gates held on with a bit of baling twine. Not very <laughs> nice and flat here, not muddy. I've been on A roads worse in this section, so I'm quite happy to drop into second and just cruise along. Thanks for tuning in folks, catch you for the next one.